In this video, we are going to discuss about memory ordering option called memory order sequential consistent. Now, this is by far the easiest memory ordering option available and of course, it is the default memory ordering option as well. So, if you write any atomic operation without any memory ordering option, then it means that you have used the memory ordering sequential consistent as the memory ordering option. This option implies that the behavior of the program is consistent with the simple sequential view of the world. So which means you can logically argue your code and come to conclusion of the execution. Now this might seem very obvious because in your programming life this is what you mostly do without even knowing using of it. So therefore bear with me because to understand the further concept it's important we have clearly understood what memory order sequential consistent means. Now let's see this option in action using an example. Now in this example here I have two atomic booleans called X and Y and of course I have atomic integer called Z and here I have four different functions. One to set x flag to true, one to set y flag to true and there are other two functions which is going to read both of these flags and increment the atomic integer z if both of those flags are true. And each of these functions will go into execute in a separate thread. Now in a read x then y function I am going to iterate or wait until x is true and then check whether the y is true. If y is true, then we are going to increment the z. Now read y then x function, I am going to first wait until y is true and then proceed to check whether the x is true. If it is so, then also we are going to increment the z's value. Now in the main thread, after joining each of these threads, which means that after all threads execution finish, I am checking whether the z is not equal to 0. So when this statement is execute, uh, if still z is 0, then this assertion can fire. Now the question is whether this assertion can fire or not. Let's see. Now there's mainly two different ways this code can run. Let's say this read x then y function has executed first. So in that case, it will wait until s is set to true, then check whether the y is true. Now let's imagine that y haven't still set to true. In that case, this read x then y function will return without incrementing z. And then come the other thread and it execute the this read y then x function. Now notice that each of these store and load operation I have used throughout this example are atomic operations. So one thread cannot see a broken value from these operations. So in the read y then x it will wait until y is true. So when y is true, then it will check whether the x is true. If you remember, the thread execute read x then y function has already seen the x as true. And therefore, this thread also will see the x is true. And because of that, it will increment the value of z. Now here we consider that read x then y execute first and then read y then x function execute but this can logically execute the other way around as well. But still, you will find out that when the time that assertion and execute, is it cannot be zero here. Now here, what we did was we logically come to the conclusion based on our implementation. Now this is what memory order sequential consistent provide us. We can reason with our code and come to logical conclusion based on where our statesmen appear. Because sequential consistent provide a simple sequential view of a world for any thread. Now as I mentioned in the beginning, this may seem as obvious, but it's very important to understand that the thread D or the thread which is going to execute this read y then x function has seen this x is true because the thread C or the function which has already executed seen the x is true. Now because every thread has sequential view of this execution, after one thread sees the value for the x as true, if another thread come, then it also see the x value as true because there's global view which each thread can see. But consider what if 
different thread has different view of a world or what if different thread sees different value for the variable in that case the outcome may not as expected so here what you need to understand because of this sequential consistent view every thread sees the global view or the every thread sees the one view of a variables and the execution therefore this assertion cannot fail so that's what memory order sequential consistent give us and that's it for this video in the next video we will discuss what happen when different thread sees different view of the variables